Welcome to Kewo's ultimate introduction to social media in China. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the incredible platform that is Weibo and all of the things that you can do with it as a brand. So Weibo, as we covered before in our previous video on the top three social apps, has over half a billion monthly active users. It appeals to a slightly more male demographic and it has um, a lot of users in lower tier cities, which you'll see when we get onto Douyin later, is a little bit different between these two platforms. 31% of Weibo is actually owned by Alibaba, although Weibo is actually also publicly listed too. So when it comes to what Weibo is like, here are three of the key parts. The first part is the feed, where you can see all of the posts from your friends, accounts you follow, and also accounts that are promoted into your feed. This looks kind of similar to Twitter or maybe Facebook. You can see there are likes, comments, reposts. This content can be video, text, or images as well. The next important page is the trending topics. Trending topics are incredibly important on Weibo. They generate a lot of engagement. They are one of the big reasons that things go viral through the platform. And it's definitely something that brands have to pay attention to when they're creating content for Weibo. Finally, on the left here, we have a brand profile, in this case for um, the brand Chanel. It looks very similar to the profile for a user. Unlike WeChat, where there are completely separate types of accounts for brands, here on Weibo, you have the same type of account as any other user, although you do have a different type of verification that is linked to your business license. And once you are verified as a brand, it gives you some different options that are not available, including the ability to buy paid ads. If you want to get a sense for what Weibo is like, there's this great story from Matt Stopera at BuzzFeed called Brother Orange, where he had his phone stolen in New York, and then suddenly he started seeing pictures of a Chinese man and his oranges appearing in his iCloud account. He then went on a wild adventure to try and track down this person through Weibo in China. It's a really good story um, and I recommend you check it out if you want to learn a bit more about Weibo. Another way to really understand Weibo, and to be honest, the whole Chinese internet better, is to follow, follow Manja Kurtzer, the Dutch journalist. She lives in Amsterdam and is fluent in Chinese, and she constantly covers the things that are coming up on the Chinese ecosystem and writes some really interesting analysis. She's also an expert, often quoted in the media, and also featured on lots of podcasts. You can follow her on many different channels from her website, Twitter, LinkedIn, and a newsletter too. Then finally, if you're wanting to get your Weibo account verified, you should check out Kewo's guide to verification on Weibo. We cover all of the different options for individuals, for brands, as well as um, uh, other options for superstars too. So when it comes to advertising on Weibo, there are various options. Weibo is actually one of the most sophisticated platforms when it comes to advertising, and it also offers the best value for money. It's one of the older social platforms. Also, more of its revenue is tied to advertising. Around 87% of Weibo's revenue comes from advertising, so you'd expect them to be pretty good at this. When it comes to ads, there are several main formats. First is the full screen ad format that displays over the user's um, app when they first open it. And this is probably the more expensive um, type of ad. Next, you can promote your account or your topic in search when users search inside um, the app. You can also promote your content in the feeds of followers. Um, this can be done quite simply through the Weibo interface. And you only have to start with a budget of just um, a couple of thousand yuan to start promoting on Weibo. And then finally, for the brands that want to get really sophisticated, Weibo has its own entire ads platform called Weibo Fun Satong with very sophisticated um, options. You can get a huge amount of metrics about how your ad campaign is performing. And you can also um, target your ads very specifically to different types of demographics. Um, in order to sign up for this, you have to have a verified account with a business license, but you also get an account manager as well who will help you um, with training you on the system and learning how to use your account. There are, of course, many agencies in China specialized in Weibo advertising too. So 
we thought um, instead of going into too much detail here, we'd recommend another great guide created by another company. The agency Faber-Novell very recently created this guide to advertising on Weibo, and we highly recommend you check it out if you want to understand your options better. To watch the next video in this series, all about Douyin, click up there. If you want to download the full PDF guide with all of the slides from this uh, presentation, just have a look down in the description below to find the link. We created this guide at KWO and we're a software company that helps teams all over the world to achieve success on social media. To learn more about our platform, just click over there.